So it's been a little while since I made a video and I thought I'd make a few, if not just to look back on this later. Uh, it's kind of about our fish tank. This is our 55 convict tank. It was like a community, but uh, they killed everything pretty much. Uh, and we've had them so long, uh, they're, we start with three and they're pretty much super inbred because they just won't stop breeding like ever but you could tell some of these some of the body shapes are off uh, there's like a mutation going on uh, that one right there it, a lot of them look similar but this is the most you know he looks almost like a parrot cichlid uh, in his shape there's another one if he'll turn to the side, he's all popped up right now. But they're short and stubby and, and they're not really, the colors, it's more on the black ones, so. Cause we have pink ones also, but there's not a lot of the pink ones. We get, some of them have like funny beaks, like that one's got kinda a smashed in face. That's kinda rude, but. And then there's some more short stubby ones over there. And there's one, it's pretty beautiful, he's swimming around, that, not that one, got a pretty good color mutation, uh, sorry about it if the camera shakes, but I don't have a tripod or anything, and I have to kind of fight glare on this, but there's one that's kind of more like a Jack Dempsey color, not color, but pattern wise. It probably won't come out, but he's got spots pretty much instead of uh, stripes. Oh, no, no. Oh, him right down there. Oh, that's where I was aiming. So he's kind of got like a blob dot thing going on, if you could see that. Kind of reminds me of a Texas cichlid, I think. But yeah. And then some of the older ones are, are fine, you know, they're pretty good. That guy's got a pretty good shape. Some of these big ones, that guy's got a pretty good shape. A lot of the adults aren't that bad. There is, I do have, I think, two Africans, and I, no, they're both males, so they won't mate, but I have had a mate before, and that's why I have two. A couple others got picked to death, but those are kind of the big ones. I think they tell calm the aggression down quite a bit, uh, being as they they can whoop these fish's ass, so these fish don't really mess with anybody. I mean, there's still quite a bit, but it's just so so crowded that uh, they haven't had any successful spawns for a while, but. Uh, I wouldn't put it past it because I thought there was enough fish when that guy's really messed up. I thought there was a lot of fish last time and all these little ones are from that. And you could see like the medium sized fish, how many fish there was before. So they just keep going at it. And short of making them a pond, I don't think there's much you could do. And even then, they'd probably overfill that. But it does it does lead to some messed up fish. I have a separate cluster in a 40 gallon upstairs. I might have to drop a few in just to change up the gene pool a little. I don't know. It's all about the same. That guy's mess up, got bent up fins. So a lot of times with that beak face, the smushed one, they got bent up uh, uh, the pectoral, no, just little Nemo fins, kind of. But, and then, like this one right here, where is he? You can't really see it, but he's all, I mean, like bluegill sunfish shape. I, wonder, I do wonder what they'd be like when they got large, but I doubt they'll 
it'll take some others dying off for them to get pretty big. But they're doing well. I haven't had any like casualties or anything like that lately. I think it's just uh, kind of overpopulated to the point where they can't really kill each other off. So I'm so rambling. See ya.